Welcome back. VSP Global, the largest vision care company in the country with more than 80 million members. Now it is looking to innovate and make glasses the ultimate wearable device, announcing an investment in Visario, a startup focused on using data to track eye-related issues. Joining us right now is VSP Global CEO Jim McGran. Jim, good to see you. Thanks so much good for joining us. Good to see you, Maria. Thanks and for you having me. some of the glass, one pair. pair of glasses. Yes. Tell us how, why these glasses are so special. So for us, we're working with uh, Visario and other companies to develop uh, uh, the wearable technology into the frame itself. So uh, in this pair of glasses, you can't really tell just by looking at it, but built into this temple is a wearable device similar to uh, like a Fitbit or uh, uh, devices like that that people are used to wearing today. What are we tracking by that? So you can track all the standard steps and, and calories and all these things, but when you wear your glasses, this area of your body, you're able to track so many more things like your gait, how you're walking. So for an athlete, a coach will be able to tell if someone's favoring one side or another, maybe Maybe get them out before they injure themselves. For someone dealing with Parkinson's or MS and they're learning to walk again, you're able to track that data and understand how their uh, gait and their walking is being impacted and either improving or not, and then put a, a plan in place. Will it, uh, is it advanced enough to say that I have an infection in my eye starting? I, I just went through, I had a, a cornea ulcer. Okay. If I caught it earlier, my doctors told me, I, it wouldn't have been as severe. Right. Will this be able to tell me that there's an infection starting in my eye? Not, not this for that, but I think what the most important thing there is there needs to be more of an awareness that people should go get an annual eye exam. You know, we were trained when we were children, you go to the dentist twice a year or your teeth fall out, right? We need to have that same type of training because what a doctor can determine by examining your eyes every year, all kinds of diseases that uh, you'll find before a general practitioner, early signs of diabetes, wow. high cholesterol, just from an annual eye exam. So very, very important to go in and get that. So time. how would you characterize the eye business right now? It's, the eye business is, uh, is expanding. It, we're continuing to grow as an industry. It is, again, I think back to awareness and access. What we're focused on as a company is the idea of B to I, business to individuals instead of just B to C. We want to be a consumer, yeah. Yeah, business, business to consumer. We want to make sure we're able to provide eye care and eye wear in as many channels as we possibly can. Basically, what the, uh, what the consumer is demanding. By 2020, 50% of our 80 million members are going to be millennials. We need to make sure that we're covering all those channels, and that's why the focus on B to I. lucky glasses are cool again, number one. Yeah, exactly. number two. But in terms of... Uh, collecting all this information and data on sure. individuals. I don't want all of that information about right. me out there. I don't want it out in the cloud. I don't want it. Anyway. I don't want you tracking it. It's absolutely. So it's a completely voluntary program, right? You have to make the choice that you want to be involved with your doctor, with your medical teams on this idea of contextual health. Basically enriching your electronic medical record with personalized information from what you do day in and day out. But it's completely voluntary. Uh, any, any of that data that would be used further would have to be anonymized and aggregated uh, and your information would be safe. But again, still, it's your choice. And there's nothing dangerous about having all that technology right here? No. By my brain? No, nope, not, not, not from what the testing is, uh, is showing. And, and I know there, there's always been that scare with cell phones. Yeah, this that's is, why This I, is yeah. different, different types of Real technology. Real quick, would this be licensed out to designers, right? So if we're thinking about an Apple Watch, their wearable sure. hasn't taken off, but people want fast, for, fashion forward devices, right? So would that happen? Absolutely. Great question. Our goal would be to develop this and have it be able to build, be built into all types of eyewear, not just sports eyewear. You know, we work with Nike and Calvin Klein. And Ferragamo and Chloe, we do all the design and development of their eyewear. We'll be building these type of wearable, wearable devices into, into their eyewear as well. Really good stuff. Jim, great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks, Thanks so for much. having me. Jim McGrand joining us there at VSP.